Oh, hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Oh, you fucking Welcome door. to my lair. My name is Lord Toxin. And, basically, this is where the Ebola Army's lair is. Basically, it's a, um anti-Knuckles group. Okay, yeah, I get down with that. All right. Yeah. Would you like to join? I mean, yeah, all right, I'm in. All right. But, um, what are the benefits of being part of the group, though? Um, you get to kill off every, every god darn Knuckles. Hmm. Because they're so annoying. Okay. And you what else? The, you got the knuckle thing? Yeah, oh, yeah well, I, know, I know, I know, I know. But, um, I mean, there's some like. We are rich as heck. We are okay. rich as heck. That's how. And I, I just dug straight into the Earth's core, and that's how I found this. And uh, I found a huge stash of money in here, so yeah. Okay, alright. And then, um. Oh, how about like, oh, time off and vacation and benefits? How does that work? Yeah, um. The vacation is, um. You get to enjoy the, um. You know how campfires work, right? Well, you, well, this place is basically an infinite campfire. Dr. Phantom, what do you think about this? Are you part of this, uh, this thing? Yes. Alright. I how started long? this thing at the start. Yeah. How oh, long? so you're like a you're like a co-founder of this uh, of the anti knuckles group, huh? Yes. We need someone to go out and bring and bring um members here. I will do it. So who's up for it? I will. I mean, do obviously, it. he's going for it. All right. So basically, um, what this is, our our lair is called Rage Fire Chasms. Okay. And it's like um a legend of League of Legends map, I think. Um, okay, tell me more. Tell me more when you enter, there, there, there's some magic in this cave that makes you immune to lava. So, um, okay. you, you don't need to. And it's like, um, mildly, it's mildly warm if you step in. It's kind of like a hot, kind of like a hot tub. All right. Yeah, we have a hot tub right here. Okay. Yeah. Now nah, this looks this looks pretty warm and inviting. I can see that. And basically, um. Our biggest enemy is, you know who, the knuckle. Yeah, Basically, the knuckles. Yeah. What really annoy? Want, what really annoys? Give the knuckles about, a piece of my knuckle. Is, yeah. What really annoys me about them is just they spit at whoever they want to, and they, and they just and they have really annoying voices. Yeah. Like, like, do you know the word? It's it's just so stupid. Yeah, it's crazy. With them, with them yeah. crazy accents, huh? Like, uh, like they're from, uh, Japan or something. Well, they actually got the accents from a Ugandan movie called Who Killed Captain Alex? Oh, damn. Is that what it is? Yeah. I always get those two confused. Hey, where's, uh, where's your avatar from? Oh, um, Best Boy Studio. Okay. Do you know, do you know mine's yeah. from? Yeah. What? League of Legends. Basically, what the plan is is um, you know how um, Uganda Knuckles are actually powered with Ebola. You know, I did not know that. Well, guess what? Our plan is to overpower them so they so they burst with power, so they get too much, and they um get destroyed. Okay, so we 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 give them more Ebola, and we hope that it's enough to to make them. Yeah. Too much Ebola okay. can kill them. This is a solid plan, man. You've been thinking about this for a long time, huh? Yep. Only I... one day. And the worst thing about the Uganda Knuckles is that they are extremely racist. They actually... They're racist. Seriously. I've actually heard that they're actually racist. They're actually, all of them are racist. 100%. Now, why do you think? Yep. Why do you think? Why do you think they're racist, though? What is it about them that makes them racist? I wonder. Hmm. Well, they always proudly say that one word that I'm not going to say because it might offend a lot of people. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Did you one of the few people? 
I mean, despite all your crazy plans, at least you got that going for you. You're not, you're not trying to drop the end bomb on people. So I appreciate that. Yeah, but really offensive stuff. And they mock Ugandan people and they call everyone else non-believers. And they sex and they sexually harass girls. Damn. So yeah, that's why we hate the Ugandan knuckles and we should get rid of them as fast as we can. Yeah, I agree. And, okay. and another plan is we should make the meme die more. We should make it officially dead. Yeah, how, how do we do that though? Cause the memes, memes are a pretty big deal. You know, once you, once you get to like the meme status, that is pretty big. So how do you, how do you stop a meme from happening? How to stop a meme from happening? Yeah, I mean, what's the it's meme? Easy. I mean, think about the, the trend lines going up, right? And so it's picking up momentum, and then you got to figure out how to how to cap it off, and then like we gotta, we, get, we gotta make, we gotta find a way though. Did you just did not you, not really in Ugandan knuckles terms? I feel like you, I feel like you might be a I, knuckles in disguise, man. I'm not. How do a I know? In disguise. I'm, how do I know you're not a knuckles in disguise? How do I know you're not gonna try to try to fool me, huh? Well. One, I used to be, but um, I've learned that they are actually pretty annoying. So I actually just joined the Best Boy Studios, and now I'm making this army. Okay. Used to be in them. I used to. But so you got some. Annoying. You got some like insider information on this, then, huh? Yes, I do. Like you know who the leader is and everything. Yes, this 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 person named Gaston's. Gaston, like 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 in the like in the Disney. Yeah, his name is Gaston's. Oh, with a Z. Gaston's at the end. Gaston with a Z at the end. Okay. Is it like Dragon Ball Z? Like, or is it just kind of like just Gaston's? Yeah, yeah Gaston's. Okay. Yes. So how do we stop him? We get enough members, and we can overpower them and convince them that the Uganda Knuckles thing is dead. And they should really stop. Beating okay. a dead horse. Yeah. That is how you stop a meme. Alright, so what's the what's the first plan of action then? Get more members. Get more members, okay, so that's one. And then number two, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Second one is um invade the the Knuckles Island and just okay. convince a, and just and just spam no the the meme is dead. Just the meme back. is dead. All right, the meme is dead. Just like, just like yelling it out, like waving our hands and everything. Just like go around saying the meme is dead in a Ugandan right. accent, just to mock them. Okay. All right, so we should use you saying that we should use the Ugandan accent, but like in a defensive manner, though, right? Like not not an offensive way. Offensive. Defensive, defensive. yeah. Defensive, yeah. Okay, yeah. that makes it okay, right? Right. Okay. All right, so we go in there. Do wait, can we cluck? Well, no. Okay, so we can't we can't cluck then. No clucking. We can't cluck. Okay, no clucking. No cluck. Um, not even we can't even cluck like defensively. Defensively, yes, we can cluck. Defensive. Okay, so defensive, defensive clucking. All right, I got this. Defensive All right, clucking. what's what's a defensive cluck sound like? Does it sound different from an offensive cluck? Well, it sounds it sounds the same. It sounds the same. All right. Yeah. How do they know? How do they know that we're we're using it against them? They won't know what hit them. That's the plan. Just make them not know what hit them. Okay. All right. Yeah. They ain't gonna know what hit them. Well, all right. I'm gonna take a look around then. Let me see. Okay. Oh god damn that's the best